top names in professional shooting came together for the National Shooting Sports Foundation's first shooting sports fantasy camp. 30 attendees shooting over 30,000 rounds trained with these top shooters. We know what a fantasy camp does for us. But what does it do for the pros? My first thought was what a brilliant idea to bring the fantasy camp idea into the shooting sports because we haven't seen anything like that. Personally, I just want to share the love of the shooting sports and these people, they jumped in and they wanted to be a part of this and I want to give them the best experience that they, they can possibly have. What's interesting is when you work with students, especially this many at one time, is the vast differences in how they see things. So as an instructor and also as a, as a competitor, the, the ability to see is, is really the key to being a good competitor. So I'm, trying to, I'm, I'm gonna do my best to try to import that knowledge onto a student that you have to actually see. And it's just that easy and it's, and it's that hard. So just break the vision techniques down maybe a little bit and when they leave here they have an idea of what procedure to set their vision up to when they go into a competition. It's very humbling to be considered for this experience. And then to see that people want to come out here and take part in this and shoot with me and all these other amazing shooters that we have lined up as instructors. So I want them to come out here and take home so many different things. There's specific goals that they have. I want them to be able to get that out of this camp. For me, it's about teaching and spreading the, the shooting sports and having people understand that this isn't just a taboo type of sport. I guess what I want all the students to walk away with is just a sense of accomplishment that they came out here on their own dime and spent the time to come out here and, and really just try to learn as much as they can and enjoy themselves. I want them to enjoy themselves because if you're out here not having fun, then what's the point? We're going to have everything from really new to very advanced. I do want to make sure that the new shooters get started on the right track, but I think we have a pretty good plan laid out that uh, everybody will get their money's worth. If I can just help one person, help them feel that when they left, they, they can do at least one thing a little bit better. I really enjoy just helping people, um, getting out and, and meeting new people and seeing what they're all about and, and just helping them out in any way. So if I can just help one person, help them feel that when they left, they can do at least one thing a little bit better, that's all I'm really looking to get out of it. And then we're gonna switch things up and you're gonna do the opposite. Even though this is my job and competing and winning, I love the shooting sports. And if there's one thing that they can take away from all of it, yes, we will all want to improve. We want to be faster. We want to be more accurate. But at the end of the day, we all want to have a great time and share it. In general, I think shooting sports will become more respected because this is something that major sports do, like basketball, baseball. And I think that taking this next step, showing that there is a true professional level and that we are sharing our knowledge with amateur level shooting shooters is really going to help things grow even more. And that's your quick hit from FMG Publications.